So at this point, you may be asking yourself just what's involved in writing a literature review, and how do I get started? Writing a literature review is a process with several key steps. Let's look at each part of this process in more detail. Your first step involves choosing, exploring, and focusing your topic. At this stage, you might discover that you need to tweak your topic or the scope of your research as you learn more about the topic in the literature. Then, of course, you'll need to do some research using article databases, the library catalog, Google Scholar, and other sources to find scholarly information. All along, you'll be using your brain. You'll want to evaluate what you find and select articles, books, and other publications that will be the most useful. Then you will need to read through these articles and try to understand, analyze, and critique what you read. While researching and organizing your paper, you'll collect a lot of information from many different sources. You can use citation management software like RefWorks, EndNote, or Zotero to help you stay organized. Then, of course, you'll need to write and revise your paper and create your final bibliography. One more thing. Writing a literature review is a process, but it is not always a linear process. One step does lead to another, but sometimes your research or reading will point you back to earlier steps as you learn more about your topic and the literature. At this point, you might be wondering, how do I actually review the literature I find? Let's look at what it means to review the literature. In the most general sense, it means that you collect and read all the relevant papers and other literature on your topic. You want to provide an overview, but also highlight key concepts and important papers. As you read, you may start by describing and summarizing each article. Then you can start to make connections by comparing and contrasting those papers. You will also need to evaluate, analyze, and organize the information from your reading. When you work with the literature, you will read and critically examine articles and books to see what's important or out of scope, and analyze arguments for strengths and weaknesses. When working with the literature, it is important to look for relationships between publications. Some of the important relationships between publications that you discover might include major themes and important concepts, as well as critical gaps and disagreements. But don't fall into the trap of making your review a laundry list of summaries of the works you read. A literature review is not an annotated bibliography. Your goal should be to go one step further and integrate and synthesize what you find in the literature into something new. Ideally, you will create your own conceptual map or outline of the literature on your topic. For example, let's say as you read you discover three major concepts that are important in the literature and relevant to your research. You should then identify how the literature, that is, the content in individual articles, books, and other publications, relates to the concepts you discovered. Some publications may be relevant to several concepts. Others may apply to only one concept. What's important is that you develop and present your own organization and understanding of the literature. Then, when you write your literature review, you will end up with a document that is organized by the concepts and relationships you found and developed based on your reading and thinking. Your review will not only cover what's been published on your topic, but will include your own thoughts and ideas. You will be telling the specific story that sets the background and shows the significance of your research. Researching and writing a good literature review is a challenging and sometimes intimidating process. Don't be afraid to seek assistance, whether from your advisor or instructor, campus writing center, or your librarian. Many librarians have subject specialties and can be especially helpful in identifying valuable resources and showing you how to obtain relevant information.